Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to grow some romaine lettuce in my arrow garden. I'm going to show you how easy this is and how much lettuce you can get. Because romaine can grow pretty big and uh, this system is not that big at all so we cannot grow too many. So I'm going to limit the lettuce to maybe three lettuce plants. And uh, we may have to do a lot of uh, harvesting early to keep the, the lettuce from overcrowding. So I'll use one here, one here, and maybe one right here. So anyway, uh, I have uh, the, uh, the sponge ready to go here. Uh, I, these are the off-brand sponges. So uh, if you want to get the exact same one, uh, they're pretty good quality. They, they look good and they work really well. So I'll show you uh, a link so you can get them if you like. And these are lettuce seeds that I harvest in the backyard right here. These are romaine lettuce. So uh, once these are soaked, and uh, that, that's really all you have to do. And then you put them in here, like so. And now we are going to drop a few seeds inside. So romaine lettuce seeds are very small. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a zip tie here. And then I'm going to pick up one of the seeds. The seeds are super small and then I'll drop it in here like that and uh, it's good to put a few because um, and, you know it just secure that uh, that you have something to uh, to sprout with you know so that you don't have to waste time and because I have so many seeds I'm just gonna put a bunch and then I'll just prune them out once they sprout it okay so that is it I'm gonna put uh, the rest of the seeds in and uh, I'm not going to turn on the, uh, the pump because uh, I'm going to leave the system empty. I don't want it running until the, le the lettuce is ready. So uh, it's going to take maybe three to five days for it to sprout. So uh, we'll come back and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so since we're not turning on the system, water is not being pumped into here. Uh, you can put these little domes on top that usually comes with the air garden. Uh, or if you buy these uh, these net pots, they, they come with it. But if you don't have it, that's fine. Just get a Ziploc bag. Just cover it up like that and uh, put it in that way. So it'll work the same. And uh, they should sprout in a few days. And uh, once they sprout it, I'm going to let them grow a little bit more before I actually turn on the system because you really don't need to. As long as you just give, give it a little spray, uh, it should be fine. So I'll show you that when, once uh, the time comes okay it has been four days now and look at my seedlings they actually sprouted like uh, two or three days after but it take uh, four days for them to pop out of the rock wool you see that and then uh, same with this you see here's the one that I use the uh, the plastic wrap um, yep there's the seedlings in there as well you see that so uh, I, I can take this off now and then um, just you know drop use a medicine dropper and then drop uh, half strength nutrients if you want to or you just drop some water in there until they grow a little bit more and then we're gonna thin those out you see these extra ones here you're not gonna need all of them you just need one so uh, I'm gonna let them pop out a little bit but uh, at this stage you can actually just pull them out I'll show you how to do it okay so uh, you can use any tools you have I have this tweezer here and uh, if you uh, pull them out gently you see the roots come out with it you see that now you can actually re uh, grow this somewhere else so I might put this in a mini system and then grow that as well and then uh, pick this one out you know you see these are extras right here and so just pull them out like that and then grow those somewhere else do the same for the rest and uh, we're just gonna wait a little bit longer before I start to uh, add nutrients to the system and let it run so uh, I'll be back soon and I will show you that Okay, so for the extra seedlings, I decided that I'm going to grow them in a water bottle setup. And all it is is uh, I take a shot glass, a plastic shot glass. This is the one that I, I have been reusing. I just cut the bottom out right here, put it in a rockwood cube. And all you have to do is, is use anything. Just create a hole like that, you know, just poke it and then drop the extra seedlings in there and like that and so i'm gonna leave it like this until uh, i'm ready to feed this hydroponic nutrients i'm gonna leave it alongside the rest and then we'll have two projects going on at the same time 
Okay, we are now on day number eight, and today we are going to fill the nutrients. And the reason why I didn't do it early is because I don't like the system running until uh, the lettuce get roots to grow. You see, look at that long strand of roots. And so when that happens, that is usually when I start to fill uh, the the uh, system with 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 nutrients. It's just my preference, but you can do it whenever you want. You can just uh, grow the lettuce plant directly in here and then give it uh, half strength and just let it cycle. And then as it gets bigger, you can just change out the nutrients and full strength after like, you know, two weeks. That that will work too. So either way is your preference. I, I like to do it this way because I don't like the system running. So anyway, let's go ahead and um, add nutrients. And as you can see, you see I put the light hood as low as possible. And that's usually how I do it. That's, that will keep the lettuce plants really compact and um, you know not skinny and tall and fall over. And so uh, if you raise it too much, then the intensity is not high enough. And then your lettuce plants is gonna grow tall and it has it'll look like skinny and lanky and sometimes it will fall over. So anyway, we are going to fill the nutrients up right now. I'm just gonna go full strength because uh, the roots are good strong enough and uh, you see there's nothing in there right now and I usually mix my nutrients in advance and this is what I use five milliliter per gallon of water so I mix it by the gallon I, I used it already half of this for the other plants and so the rest is gonna go into here all you need is half right now you don't need the full tank and then I can eventually fill it later so let's go ahead and add some and you can fill it through here if you like or just lift up the whole system and just add it and that should be enough you don't need to fill the entire thing it's gonna cycle the water up you see let me plug in the pump okay it's plugged in now but the pump is on a timer it goes on for one hour and then off for one hour throughout the day and so right now it's probably on the off cycle but anyway that's that's how I run my stuff one one hour on one hour off okay so uh, here are what the plants look like pretty small and even the uh, the bottle system I'm gonna fill this up as well and it's gonna be sitting right there next to it and then we'll check back soon okay today we are on day number 15 and all of the plants are growing nicely they've gotten a lot bigger even the extra plants are growing really well and so the uh, the reservoir is now full because uh, I filled it up and so once you fill it up it's gonna take them a while to drink up everything you see so there it is right there and so uh, with more roots growing they're gonna grow really really fast from this point going forward so we will be back soon and I will give you an update as they grow much more. Okay, we are now on day number 25 and all of the lettuce plants are doing really well. Uh, it's basically set it and forget it. Uh, the nutrients tank has been the same one since we, uh, we filled it. And uh, look at this, the leaves are getting large. You can actually harvest now. Just cut a few leaves to use and then in a few days they will come back and grow again and then look at this this is the baby uh, I'm not baby plant but the the lettuce plant in the uh, bottle container and even this plant is doing great and so today we can actually start harvesting as I mentioned so I'll I need to use a few of these and um, also because the leaves is getting you know the leaves are getting big and it, it's coming over to that that end over there and so I am going to harvest uh, a few leaves to use. And in the next update, you guys are going to see it's gonna grow right back. And so normally what I would do is I'll harvest the outer leaves. That's what you should do. And uh, you know, don't harvest the whole plant. Just cut uh, you know, all the leaves that you need and then just let it continue to grow and then it will grow back and uh, you have many, many harvests. So um, don't cut the whole plant, you see? And so let me cut a few more. That way it can uh, free up some space for the, uh, you know, this, 
for these plants to grow nicely you know you don't want them to fight for space and stuff like that and as I mentioned uh, the, the air garden is not a very large system so it cannot grow too many lettuce plants and so as you can see three is already too much and you see it's already crowding and that's usually how it's gonna be when you grow in system this small you see so harvest uh, the leaves and use it and then in a few days it will grow right back okay just so you see how much I have uh, harvested see this is uh, a pretty good amount right here of lettuce for me to use and here it, it came from mainly that one there so that one's uh, smaller than the rest now and uh, in a few days you know we'll come back and I will show you how fast these things grow back <laughs> okay welcome back it has been three days since we harvested the plants and the total time has been 28 days and now we can harvest this lettuce cut them all back until we reach the the younger leaves and also with this and then let that grow and then this will be ready to be harvested so you can repeat the step for a, a, for a few more weeks so lettuce plants in air garden grows really well and easy there's not much you need to do and you see even the uh, the ones I grew in the in the bottles are doing fine so let's check uh, the reservoir I have not added anything since we since I filled the the container so let's see how far it's gone there it is so the 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 level is very low right now because it's been a while it's been about over 20 something days and uh, I need to refill now and uh, when you refill it's best to just pour the remaining nutrients out and add a new fresh batch that's always the best don't don't just add it you can but it's, it's not good because the, the remaining nutrients are nutrients that the plants don't need to take in so if you add new ones to it it kind of like keep it uh, sort of like imbalanced so just pour that out add new nutrients and you're all set so it's very very simple you can grow lettuce plants and uh, harvest uh, many many times just don't cut the entire plants just keep uh, harvesting the, the outer leaves to use and they actually taste pretty good guys I, I ate the, these over here and uh, they're very nice and fresh it doesn't have a vegetable taste that, that's really how um, uh, plants or lettuce taste in the hydroponic they're very nice and fresh it's almost more watery than any vegetable taste so if you don't like the taste of vegetable uh, try it in hydroponic and it, it may have a cleaner taste and uh, because you grow it indoor uh, they're always uh, you know pretty clean but of course you always want to wash it first but uh, no pests if you keep the area clean and uh, you get lettuce for you know many more weeks so I hope you enjoy the video try it out um, it cannot grow a whole bunch of plants as uh, you know you see in the pictures but you can grow a, a good three lettuce plants and just you know harvest and uh, keep it so that it doesn't the leaves doesn't uh, you know fight for space like this here you see that and uh, you can also go grow some herbs and they would do very well as well and, or you can grow some peppers if you want to so that's it guys thank you so much for watching please like comment and subscribe